Ako imate pitanja... Do you think that the state is not a good entrepreneur and that it should be get out of this uh, entrepreneurship role? The, this state, yeah. Ova država ovde. I'm talking about the, all the uh, states in the region. Yeah, I have not much experience with this uh, region. As I mentioned during the plenary session, I am a member of a board in Montenegro, in a bank in Montenegro. Montenegro is the smallest state in Europe with 630,000 inhabitants. So I have not uh, much experience, but what I learned today uh, is... Oh, sorry. I have no experience with this region. Today I have mentioned that I am in the Department of the Crnoj Bank in Crnoj Gori, and Crnoj Gori is the most small state here in this region with 360,000 inhabitants. But I don't have a great knowledge of the region. What I learned is that the administrative costs for the state in uh, such a country here with so many people working in the official sector, in the state sector, that is not uh, sustainable. And uh, you cannot rely on credits by the IMF for the time forever. You must create your own GDP, you must create your own tax revenues that you can pay for the public spending. Uh, ali smo i na konferenciji, ono što sam čuo na konferenciji je da ovde imate uh, veliku administrativnu službu, uh, generalno, uh, da uh, mnogo ljudi rade uh, za uh, državu. Uh, to ne mogućava državu uh, što je neodrživo i nećete vi moći dove kada živite na račun uh, MMF-a. Uh, mora više ljudi da se preusmeri iz države kako bi se više poradilo na rastu bruto domaćeg proizvoda, kako bi se povećao prihod od poreza i tako dalje. And uh, also you have to create a feeling for entrepreneurship uh, and uh, to create a, such an entrepreneurship environment you need education, you need training. The, the, uh, value you can create is the greatest when you put your money into humankind and your mankind. Uh, treba da os, ostvarite da stvorite osjećaj za uh, preduzetništvo kod ljudi da pokrenu uh, svoje uh, poslove da ih obučite uh, da im uh, date trening odgovarajući uh, kako bi se više novca generisalo u privatnom sektoru. But such a situation comes not by a certain amount a moment you need time and it needs to change the mood of the whole country and the population ali naravno ta situacija se ne događa a, preko noći odnosno a, udarcem dva prsta nego a, mora se stvoriti moraju se stvoriti preduslovi i mora a, da se radi na situaciji since you were the chairman of the Bundesbank for many years. And looking at this, how to strengthen our state sector and how is it uh, influencing uh, the fiscal policies here, uh, our uh, big state uh, sector, since you have certain experience in it. Again. Uh, I do not exactly know the figures in Bosnia and Herzegovina and I do not want to interfere into the internal politics in this country. I, am, I was in the past a politician in the state of Hessen, one of the federal states in Germany. I was a member of parliament for 20 years and four years I was a member of government. And then I moved to the central bank and was first the president of the regional arm of the central bank in the state of Hessen and later on the president of the Deutsche Bundesbank. At the time, when we moved from the Deutschmark and the national currencies to the euro. And uh, of course, uh, uh, this was a very interesting time at that, uh, in this period and it changed a lot. But as I mentioned in the, in the, in the plenary session that the European Monetary Union is not completed as long as we do not have a fiscal union and the financial union and the banking union aside that we can, that the ECB can maintain price stability. Currently, it's the only real European institution that can decide in short period of time 
the others, in other issues, as we have seen in the ref refugee <coughs> problems in the last two months, is need time, time, and time again. And they come <coughs> not to a conclusion or, or very late to a conclusion. The influence <coughs> of... Uh, oh, sorry. Znate, ja sam pre nego što sam bio direktor Bundesbanke, ja sam bio i političar, bavio sam se u Esenu, sam se bavio politikom, bio sam i poslanik, posle sam prešao u banku 20 godina sam se bavio politikom. Ne poznajem, kao što sam rekao, ne poznajem baš vrlo dobro ovaj vaš region, ali ono što smo uradili u Nemačkoj prilikom prelaska sa Nemačke marke na evro, to je zahtevalo ulaganje velikog rada. Tako da i danas Evropska centralna banka, njena uloga je uglavnom da pruža stabilnost i da omogući dalji rad. Public finances are related to European Monetary Union in two ways. Public debt has not to be higher than 60% of GDP. 60. 60, 60 percentage of GDP. And deficit should not be higher than 3% of GDP. Correctly, it should be zero over a, con, con, uh, over a cycle. So that means if your growth rate is high, then you have to reduce your public uh, financing debt. And uh, if you are in a recession, you can spend a little bit more. So that are two, two covenants you have to fulfill to become a member of European Monetary Union. I naravno, u sferi javnih financija, javni dug, ne sme da bude veći od 60% od 100 bruto domaćeg proizvoda, deficit nikako ne bi smeo da bude veći od 3% GDP-a. Naravno, tu može da se moduliše ukoliko ste u recesiji i možete više novca da ulažete u taj državni sektor, ukoliko se napreduje, možete drugačije. Međutim, sve su to preduslovi koje ćete morati da ispunite ukoliko želite, a budete članica Evropske unije. Hvala, ja imam još pitanje za gospodine Dalbuka. Hvala vam. Hvala.